Okay, guys, uh, welcome to your Scorpio versus all 12 signs reading uh, for May 2023. Uh, first, we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys, okay? Uh, we could be talking about love, money here, personal growth, spiritual growth, healing, anything could come up. And then we'll finish off the read to see, uh, uh, take a look and see uh, what's going on with you guys versus all 12 signs. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, all right? So tell me about Scorpio here. What's going on with Scorpio? Over energies for Scorpio. What's surrounding Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know for uh, May 2023? And we have the, uh, the Page of Pentacles and the Fool. Aries energy, Aquarius energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It seems like you're about to take a huge risk in your career here. Um, some of you guys might, keep, might be making a career shift here. You guys may be shifting careers, moving to different industries or something like that. But there is a huge shift that's happening here in your career. You're just kind of like going for it. You know, you're taking that huge risk here. Uh, uh, Page of Pentacles and the Fool. Let's see what else we have here for you, Scorpio, with the Ace of Cups. We have the Strength card here. Leo Energy. Uh, you know, regarding this uh, new, regarding the shift that you're doing here when it comes to your work life here, it could be something that's really emotionally fulfilling here for you. Uh, it could be that you're making this transition to work with animals or something like that. Maybe you guys are going to veterinary school or that you guys want to be vets or that you, want, you guys want to work at the zoo or something like that. Uh, but whatever this is, this is going to be something very emotionally fulfilling here for you. Uh, this is a strong... Um, just a strong passion for it okay uh, uh, just what really wanting to do this ten of cups here and the moon here cancer pisces here you know with the ace of cups it could be an indication that you know maybe there's new love coming in for you uh with the ten of cups here and the uh and the moon could be a situation that you're dealing with where someone here might be holding back their feelings here for you and they're not really expressing it, okay? Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? You know, it could be an indication that someone here is willing to take a risk in love here with you. It's a hermit, Virgo energy. Tell me about this Fool card. And the Five of Swords. Mm. This is an individual that's kind of like playing, this person has a lot of doubts. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person is dealing with a lot of doubt here. Maybe doubt in their ability to start a new career here or doubt in their abilities to make a relationship here work with you. The Ace of, uh, Ace of Cups. And the Five of Wands. The Strength card and the, uh, the Hierophant. Hmm. Someone here is really conflicted about their commitment towards you or conflicted about commitment or that someone here is really or that there's a lot of conflict regarding loyalty here okay uh you know it's it's interesting i i just feel i feel like you're going into this with like blind faith or something like that too the ten of cups we have the five of cups here lots of fives here you're going through a lot of changes here uh, uh scorpio tell me about the moon and the Page of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There's a lot of new things that are happening here. And I feel like, like I said, you're going through it, going to it with some sort of blind faith here. There's a lot of fives here. You're going through a lot of changes. It's like, it reminds me of the Bon Jovi song, Living on a Prayer. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing here. Okay. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of new things coming into your life. There's a lot of changes that are happening here. 
many changes, okay? Um, Scorpio versus all tall signs. 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 Tell me about Scorpio versus all tall signs here. Scorpio versus all tall signs. Scorpio versus an Aries here with the Queen of Pentacles here and the Seven of Wands. Whoever this is, this is an individual that's willing to fight for you when it comes to a, a romantic connection here, okay? So, um, yeah. Uh, Scorpio versus a Taurus here with the Queen of Swords here and the King of Cups. Um, I do feel like someone here wants to get something off their chest about how they feel towards you and that this person is in love with you, okay? Um... Who am I doing? Scorpio versus a Gemini with the King of Swords here and the Two of Cups. There's a lot of love that's happening here. The person's in love with you too. Yeah, this Gemini's in love with you too, uh, uh, Scorpio. Uh, Scorpio versus a Cancer here. Nine of Cups here and the Queen of Wands. This person's seeing you as a wish fulfillment. It seems like multiple people are in love with you, Scorpio. So it's, you know, I, I you know, perhaps that Ace of Cups is that uh, there's an opportunity for new love with multiple options here okay uh scorpio versus a leo we have the four swords here and the king of pentacles whoever this is this is an individual that's re very disengaged here uh, yeah very disengaged very cold here it seems like this person's off in their own little worlds uh, i do feel like this person might have adhd or something like that um scorpio versus uh, a virgo six of swords here and a two of pentacles this person's unsure whether they want to move forward here with you in the relationship here uh scorpio okay scorpio versus a libra we have the three of cups here and the seven of pentacles um this individual that just wants to take their sweet old time to get to know you okay this libra just wants to go slow okay they don't want to rush scorpio versus a scorpio here three of wands here and the high priestess Mm. you know i i feel like this person is really trying to trust their intuition whether they want to move forward here towards a future here with you when it comes to a relationship but i also feel like this person doesn't really speak a lot okay uh scorpio versus the sagittarius page of swords here and the nine of pentacles um this person's definitely talking to you a lot this person's texting you a lot this person's liking a lot of your social media posts I feel like this person is really curious about you and is really into you, okay? Uh, Scorpio versus the Capricorn, we have the Queen of Cups here and the Nine of Wands. This is an individual that's really, 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 really guarded with their emotions here. But I could tell that this person does love you, but this person's really guarded. Uh, I do feel like this person has struggled with a lot of PTSD here, a lot of trauma, okay? Uh, I do feel like this person has been emotionally abused a lot by people. Uh, could be family members, could be friends, could be exes, you know, lovers, okay? Uh, Scorpio versus an Aquarius, Page of Cups here, and the Ten of Pentacles, okay? This person wants it all here with you, okay? This person wants it all. Um, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that's very cute and very sweet, okay? Very kind, very gentle. Uh, I do feel like this is a new person, and I do feel like this person does want to go far here with you when it comes to your relationship. Um, we have uh, Scorpio versus a Pisces here. We have the World card and the Chariot. Um, I'm getting that this person wants to travel around the world here with you, okay? Uh, you know, one of the things I'm getting is that, you know, if you have been dealing with this person for a bit, you might be planning a road trip with this individual or that you might be planning like a, 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 a trip where you guys, you know, travel, traverse around the world or something like that. Okay, so that does it for Scorpio. Hope that this was helpful. Hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.